Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Elite Four of Pokemon White 2 Wedlock Challenge. In the last episode, we fought off against Elite Four Chantal, and we did it with our lone wolf, our high dragon, Sanity, and he did it all by himself, no problem, and was even crit with a flying gem acrobatics crit, and lived with 4 HP to tell about it. And I am so happy for that. I took the Ross Berry off of Sanity and gave him a Citrus Berry for now. But hopefully we won't have to use him until Iris. I will. I would love to beat Marshall and Grimsley with these two. It's very unlikely, but hopefully we can pull it off. So, I'm going to do Marshall last because it's most likely to wipe against. And we're going to go ahead and do this with these two. I was going to lead with Portia, but now that I think about it, I'm actually going to lead with Billy. Because if I, I know that sounds dumb. <sighs> mm. Yeah, I'm gonna leave with Billy. This sounds really stupid, obviously, for many reasons, I understand. But I believe he leads with a Lyford with a normal gem fake out, which I would rather not take. And maybe he's programmed to do that. And, you know, Jellison, obviously. I mean. <sighs> Yeah, I'm going to do it. Alright, let's talk to him. What will be determined here is which of us can absorb the opponent's light and shine. But who will decide that? It shall be I, Grimsley, of the Elite Four. And I will fulfill my duty to be your opponent. Alright, time for the third Elite Four member of the Pokemon White 2 Wedlock Challenge. Versus Grimsley, the Dark-type master of the Unova region. In its challenge mode, let's do this. First up is a Lyperd. It's a dark type. It's level 60, and you know what it has. Let's go, Billy. All right. So, I know this looks really dumb. Please, for the love of God, don't have Crunch. Just use Dark Pulse. That would be great, honestly. And then I can switch. That's all I have to do is take one hit. Maybe I should even Giga Drain it, because it's probably going to be faster. Yeah, you know it's going to be faster. Do I Giga Drain it? No, that thing has Aerial Ace. That's right. We gotta go for Scald. Ah, oh, dang it, Billy's dead. It's I can't take that. Oh, no, I had to break the fake out. We, yes, Scald it. Burn it. Burn it, please, for the love of God, burn this thing. Nah, not quite. All right, why would I use that move if he can figure it out? Whatever. I tried to burn you, duh. All right, Billy, come on back. You did what you needed to do. Let's go for it, Portia. All right. It can't use Fake Out now with the normal gem. It's just going to go for Night Slash. I'm hoping that I can tank these attacks really well with Portia. Otherwise, it's a crit. That's fine. Uh, it's not fine. <sighs> Dang it. I don't know. It's not fine. If she, if she crits again, I'm going to be really upset. All right, I need to use Healing Item number one. I need to use a Hyper Potion on Portia. <sighs> we might lose here. This is might this might be where it ends. I have to get... I'm having trouble with a Lyperd. Ooh, here comes the Aerial Ace. Please. For, I'm begging you, don't do over half. That's a crit, too. Why is my luck so bad? You see, I can't do this with Hydreigon because he has a Scrafty. And I know that. I'm going to use healing item number two for Portia and Billy. I wish I led with Hydreigon now. Because I could have set up and swept the Scrafty. What was I thinking? That was healing item number two. Okay, as long as don't crit me again. I can put a Ninite. Please, I'm begging you don't crit me. Okay, sleep, sleep time. All right, this is good. Hopefully it stays asleep because I can Giga Drain it and I can get some health back and I can also Synthesis if I really need to. We only have one item left, I think. I'll have to double check that. I'm pretty, yeah, I only use two, right? I hate when I do this. I'm pretty positive it was two. That's down Lyford and we have the Black Sludge, right? What did I give Portia? What did I give Portia? Don't tell me I don't have the Black Sludge. I never took the Lucky Egg off! I'm done. Next up's Absol. It's over here. It's over. It has Aerial Ace as well. I'm gonna heal. I'm pretty sure I only used two. If I didn't, if I used three, I'm really, really sorry. I'm pretty certain it's two. Either way, they're gonna die here. It's got Aerial Ace. Psycho Cut's even worse. <sighs> I 
It's over. This is where we wipe. I can't believe it ended this way. All because of Caitlyn. It's over. There's nothing that can be done to save this. It has Excisor too, if, if I'm, as far as I'm aware. This challenge was going so well. And it just ended up being a disaster towards the end. I'm so sad it happened out this way. I'm so upset that it ended this way. I know it has X's or there's nothing that can... It's Swords Dance. Oh, my lord. <laughs> I have to kill it now. Because we outsped it. Hopefully we're not speed died. Good. Hope I, I, They're pretty frail. That should be down, Absol. That's it for Absol. All right. I mean, I, I'm saying we're done. Even though I, I could kill it. I could beat him. I mean, but it's unlikely. Because even if I do, Marshall's going to kill me instantly. I'm weak to fighting. I can't make it to Iris. That's all I ask. We well, took out Crocodile. See, Scrafty's too bulky. I should have set up there. All right, it's Bisharp time. This has Exazor. This also has a quick claw. <laughs> Why do I remember this? I don't know. I'm gonna go for Drag Dog Pulse because I could flinch it. Because I know it's not gonna take it out regardless. It's pretty bulky and it's resistant to both attacks. Okay, we flinched it. Flinch it again. Yeah, it's done. I don't think it'll kill me in one hit unless it's a crit, but it's gonna put me out of healing range. It's close. Uh, if I heal, it's just gonna do the same thing. I gotta go for the flinches. If it, if I survive the next one, then I could heal. But it's just gonna put me in too bad of a situation. It's over here. Oh yeah, I have a citrus berry. How funny is that? That's not gonna do anything though. I'm gonna heal. Hopefully he doesn't. But there's nothing I can do about it. I do have three items per pair. And since Sanity's all alone, he has three items to himself. Yeah, and he does heal at that stage. That sucks. I mean, maybe my best bet is to work up on him. As long as he doesn't crit me. Oh, I got rid of Flamethrower, too. Why? I'm so bad. I've been messing up so bad. I really hope my next series isn't like this. I I'm so good at these, and I've messed up relentlessly towards the end, and there's nothing I can do. I'm going for work up here just because I it's going to take several hits anyways. I have two more items, and if he doesn't crit me, I could come out of this on top. All it comes down to is a crit. Healing item number two. <sighs> An Exazor has a high crit ratio, too. I'm just waiting for it to happen to make me sad. If he doesn't crit me here, I'm going to go for it. It's close. It's so close. I'm going for Dark Pulse, even though it's weaker, because I know I'm not going to kill him in one hit anyways. It's flinch probabilities. Wow. That was a crit, and it flinched. Good. Please don't heal. All right. So this is where it gets nasty. I have to be able to kill Scrafty in one hit. It all comes down to this. Healing doesn't matter. It's stab fighting. It will kill me in one hit. I have to take it out in one shot. One moment. One opportunity. Come on, Sanity. That's it for Scrafty, and that's it for Grimsley. Well, we can live to see another episode. I really didn't think that was going to happen. I mean, is it possible we sweep Marshall? It's very not. And let me tell you why. He has a Pokemon with Sturdy. And obviously a close combat's going to kill me dead. He leads with Throw. But how can I work around that? I have one Pokemon remaining. I couldn't get... To, even if I get to Iris, I'm going to lose to her High Dragon. My High Dragon's not going to overpower hers. Mine's got a minus speed nature. It's done. What could I do? I don't have a clue. We'll figure that out in the next episode, but... Tune in next time to watch me wipe to Marshall. Hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, a like is appreciated. It helps out a great deal. 
I'll see you guys in the next White 2 Wedlock episode when we face off against Marshall. Thanks for watching.